guys limited edition Toyota Supra what is a limited edition Supra if you watch my videos I'm sure you've been wondering asking yourselves what is this car all about what's so special about this Supra sorry guys I'm filming at night I got no I've been filming other videos and I just thought I could squeeze one more video of the Supra these wheels are obviously not the original wheels for this car but they're the closest thing to the original well not the closest but they're close to the original style but these are not the original wheels they're just the style now I'm sure you guys are wondering what is this car like what is this about it's a Supra right yes it's a Supra and what is this limited edition all about what does it have first thing it comes with a three liter it's a three liter turbo engine and the engine is a 7M I'll just quickly show you the engine all right let's see let's check out the engine oh man the light is supposed to be on today but it's not on so uh, my video is gonna be filmed in the dark boom that's the engine right there not a bit dark so I'll bring it close for you how can I do this oh boy there you go 7m you can just see it and it comes with a twin cam 24 valve intercooled turbo it's a single turbo three liter engine and it's mounted on the side it's a bit too dark so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this up and hopefully move into the light somewhere I'm gonna close this thing up oh. I'm gonna pause the video come back in a bit and we'll continue this video There you go guys now we've got a bit more light happening so yeah well, let's continue our talk on the 7m uh, engine and this uh, limited edition Toyota Supra limited edition Toyota Supra I've got the in the bonnet popped a little bit um, so originally these wheels they would they came as a 16 inch um, wheel I replaced it with 17s these are 17 inch rims but it's not a huge difference I've got a bit of light here now so I can actually see something and this is actually a Japanese model this model was very um, it was actually only released in Japan that's one thing to know about the limited edition if another country did get it let me know as far as I know these are all imports from Japan got a bit better focus now uh, and there's a few special things about this and this is how you know that it's actually a Japanese model here in Australia we do have these orange uh, repeater indicators and this one's got one there on the side you have to have that but on the front here the Australian del Australian um, delivered cars or made Supras they they were actually two piece they're a two piece um, lens this has got a single piece lens one continuous one and it's all orange the Australian ones had an orange one here and a Parker a clear Parker one on this side so that's how you would know whether this is a Japanese one or an Australian one or a British one or any other one this is strictly Japanese at the bottom here 7m sorry uh, limited edition you got a chin spoiler at the very bottom there with a gap there we go with a little gap here you got a little gap chin spoiler that screws in 
you got these fog lamps sorry these are not actually fog lamps these are parkers because the parker lens the clear lens i was talking about is missing here they dream the japanese didn't put it didn't put it here the clear lens the parker instead they put it down here so you might think it's a fog lamp but it's actually not this is actually part of the driving light the parker driving light so they're just driving lights and then you've got the indicators up here one here one here um, I think there might be a blank in here I'm not I don't think there's a globe in that side in the very corner now as I mentioned before it's a three liter limited edition came with a three liter and the other one that obviously released was a turbo R which was a 2.5 that came after this model the next year or so the next two years uh, they released a 2.5 but this is a limited edition so it's a different thing again now in here we got the plate that I was talking about the twin cam 24 valve turbo intercooled and the intercooler is actually right down there you can see it right through there it looks like a grill that's actually your intercooler And right beside it, it's got an oil cooler as well. So you can see in here, there's an oil cooler here. And then you've got the intercooler. I wish I could, let me try so I can, sorry, the fan is going. There's a bit of inter interaction from the fan there. I'll wait for it to finish. But at the moment, what I'll do is I'll see if I can push you down under so you can see these things. Oil cooler, intercooler, oil cooler. So there you go. So if you got that oil cooler, that is um, for the transmission to cool down the transmission oil in case it overheats. It's got that extra cooling. Now I will close this because there's not much more under there. The other thing that seven that uh, limited editions came with was this top here. It actually you can remove this top from here to there, and this center bit comes out. This is called the aero top. This is the aero top style roof for the Toyota, and um, to remove that, you just need to use an Allen key. It comes, with a, it comes with a special tool that you know from the factory and one other thing it does have oh, doors are locked gotta reach in there it's got automatic door locks electric door locks they do time out so it's got a timer built in for your door locks after a few seconds or a couple of maybe a couple of minutes it will lock itself so you gotta be very careful with that you lock yourself out especially when the engine is running now right here, you got a button right there. That button folds the mirrors, so you can actually fold these mirrors. Limited edition has that as well. Uh, obviously you got the automatic transmission on this limited edition. I don't think they ever came out with a, actually, I think they did come out with manual, but don't quote me on that. Most of the limited edition I've seen, they all have ma um, automatic gearboxes, so yeah, gotta double check that one. What else did they come with? Let's go on the interior of the vehicle, obviously. And that one thing you do have is obviously the badge. They all came with this badge, limited badge. That's how you know from the factory if it's got that, it's a limited edition, and it says 3 liter GT. This is actually a GT model. They're not just Supras, the Japanese correctly named them GT, because that's what it is, it's a GT, GT style sports car. Um, let's see, so in the inside, I th they all come with this um, reflector, or this, this, this little light here, all cars come with that, all the, all the Supras come with that. 
far as I understand. Obviously, what the um, electric windows, but let's just focus on the dash here. With with these cars, let me get a better view. All right, guys. On the interior, let's focus on the interior now. With the GT, or so the limited edition, they all come with the climate control, like this one. Climate control, um, air vents. It has air conditioner, air conditioning, and it's got this economical air conditioning button so that it doesn't have the air conditioner running all the time. And you got the auto button for the fan, for the, um, the vents. It automatically controls your vents if you want. So if it's a cold day, like in the morning when it's frosty, this, if you press that, it will shoot out air from the top here and defrost your window. After it's defrosted the window, it will switch back to the forward position and to the others. I don't know how it does it, but it does something like that. And when it reaches desired temperature, it will switch off. But obviously you gotta have it on auto as well here and auto there if you want all that to happen. Obviously, if you know your Supras, most of your Supras do not have this display. This is your digital dash, 80s style digital dash. It's all LEDs in there that light it up. Look at that. A limited edition Toyota Supra from the 80s and 90s, they all had this display. They have no analog display in this at all. Not one analog display. The clock is digital and you've actually got a trip computer as well right there. You can set your trip computer here and what it does is another the fuel scale you can change the fuel scale if you press it so it can show you how much fuel okay. to a more accurate scale on a bigger scale right there so you can accurately know how much you've got in there um, what else do we have here we've got oh yeah the steering wheel the steering wheel you've got your cruise control buttons and you've got your auto button right there. I don't know if you can see that. Auto and main. So these buttons control your speed for your cruise control. You've got your cancel button when you want to cancel your, your cruise control. Your setting button if you want to change your settings for your cruise control as well. Coast. Resume acceleration. So yeah, you've got this steering that only comes on this car a unique piece of um, um, yeah part of the car unique, unique part of the car quickly before I run out of battery I'm running really low on battery now this is the system what do you call the um, audio system in this vehicle they all came with a CD player I've changed it obviously we don't have the original one in this car it's old and it, I'm sure it doesn't work anymore wherever it, it went so it's been replaced with this one, a modern version, but originally they came with a CD player, radio, and cassette, all in here, and an amplifier under the passenger side seat to boost all your speakers. It's got six speakers in this car, two in the door, and one in, a, one in each door, and four at the back. And that's the end of this video, guys. I don't want to run out of um, battery. Guys, um, like my channel, subscribe. Write in the comments what you think about this car and what, you know, if you're following this car or one of my other cars, what, what do you want me to show you about this car? Give me some ideas. See if I can follow up on that. Over and out.